Yes, Simon, um, thank you very much. Um, the CD CDKN was set up three years ago um, to provide forums of this uh, type of conversation to bridge <coughs> practice and research. Um, and um, we're funded as an ODA project. We are a development project. And we, if we, if we lose that, we lose it at peril, this issue about good joined up thinking. So there was quite a lot of points that tried to ground, uh, ground climate compatible development back in good development practice. And we must never lose sight of that. We seek to do that. I think some of the practice that, um, that um, Cloudy was talking about from Columbia took us to that, albeit with these excellent challenges about the future of the coffee sector from Peter. Um, so bridging practice and research, critical, and I hope this paper is a contribution towards that. Um, I would like to emphasize that we had a, de a presentation and debate about this paper in Africa before we had it here. Just to come back on, on Jakob's point, we had it with the EPA, with your old colleagues in Addis in March, uh, with a number of, of colleagues, partners from East Africa. So we put prioritizing building that policy debate um, first with our partner countries. But there's an enormous gap. Um, Michael um, Grubb talked about the energy option as a way into this debate. I think that is an enormously important one. So many countries are transforming in a way towards incompatible climate compatible developments all over East and Southern Africa right now. I'm just back from Mozambique. There's a totally disjointed policy debate between climate change and en energy policy. It is not joining up. I think this paper should try and open up and I think there's a message to take away uh, in terms of our content, I think the very helpful point about natural capital valuation links to global supply chains and Michael's point on the energy is something I would like to see us putting more emphasis on. Two really very helpful points and, uh, and these points around the development practice. Time frames, um, some real challenges um, from Emma because the evidence base is clearly very shaky. Um, we are not seeking for the middle of the, of, of, of the graph for, for the triple win all the time as uh, in, in terms of CDK. And we, see, we, we think we will find higher efficiency and quicker results and, and poverty-focused results if we can achieve that. But the evidence base is certainly not strong enough and we need more information to inform policy choices. So that's part of our task. We need better um, economics and costs uh, and, and of the benefits as well as the costs to back that up. So thank you very much for participating. Thank you for those who joined online as well. Um, this is an ongoing conversation. We hope to have it in other places and other parts of the world. We would love your future written comments on the paper. We intend to draw on further evidence and pr provide a policy paper uh, to build on the working paper before long. So thank you very much, Simon, again, for provoking us and taking us through this. Thank you, Emma, very much for coming up. To, to share your thoughts and the results of your work. Uh, and thank you, Karen and Ali Cambre here and Alberto for the paper. So thank, thank you, you very much. A round of applause for the speakers.